My name is Meng Luo. I'm Director of Radiology and Nuclear Medicine at Alfred Health and Professor of Radiology at Monash University. Alfred Health is one of the largest uh, uh, tertiary referral hospitals in Australia. It, um, uh, it has the largest ICU in the Southern Hemisphere. It's also the busiest trauma center in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, that requires a lot of uh, CT of your brain, of the cervical spine, uh, a lot of trauma CT, and um, to be honest, we do a lot of pan scans from head to toe in patients that come in through the ED. Um, and essentially, there are so many images that our um, uh, registrars and trainees and radiologists need to look at now. Uh, because of the huge volume, it's virtually impossible for us to interrogate every single image uh, very carefully. Um, so I think having the opportunity to be uh, augmented by AI uh, uh, is very important to us. I think um, uh, a number of things were important to us. One um, that has had some track record of um, uh, having been in clinical use at a number of different sites. And um, um, when I saw AI doc, it certainly been utilized um, uh, in a few hospitals I was familiar with. So I think having seen it in action at very similar uh, size institutions with similar volumes um, uh, made me comfortable that uh, it'd be of uh, clinical utility at our place. Started off using AI doc um, for uh, intracranial hemorrhage uh, and I think it's already shown its utility with that. I think very soon we'll be going live with um, our cervical spine fracture and our uh, pulmonary embolism uh, modules and I think we're um, similarly, we see a, a huge volume in those two um, uh, modalities and, uh, and exams. So, uh, you know, obviously I think we'll see an improvement in um, uh, turnaround time and quality of care uh, when they get rolled out as well. And turnaround time on, on average, I think, for our head CTs is approximately 75 minutes now. Um, it's a little bit less, I think, 45 to 55 minutes for abnormal CT scans of the head. So I envisage that those numbers will be um, uh, reduced by 50%. Um, so we'll see a reduction in turnaround time, which means that patients in the ED will be seen uh, much more efficiently and get discharged or uh, admitted um, uh, if the scan's abnormal, much more efficiently. So in terms of QA, you know, I'm expecting that um, uh, if you come to the Alfred um, and powered by uh, AI doc, our um, uh, quality of care will be improved. Uh, a lot of the data that we're having to look at is, is normal and I think a lot of that work is very mundane um, and we're spending less and less time thinking about how to care for patients um, and I think having um, an AI doc type solution help us would remove a lot of the mundane day-to-day -day work that we do uh, thereby freeing up time so that we can actually think about um, the diagnosis for the patient, think about the therapeutic um, the interventions for our patient and think about caring for our patients and then ultimately allowing us more time to actually talk to our patients. And I think the interaction with the AI doc has been very positive. Uh, they've been very supportive uh, from the implementation, um, from the setting up of the infrastructure, from the workflow perspective, from the training perspective, and I think from the resource perspective. Our team at Alfred Health, we were very excited to um, look at the impact that would have, um, not only on turnaround time, but the impact on the quality of care, uh, the impact on our clinical services, um, and so future of healthcare and, and imaging, uh, yeah, I think will incorporate a lot of um, AI algorithm uh, in its workflow and I think we're very excited to be able to partner with the AI doc to be able to do that.